Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have TXT's Miniso 3 tomorrow here. Um, before we actually get to looking at these albums, I want to put a bit of a disclaimer out there and have a conversation. So as we know, there's a boycott going on with Hybe. I had bought these these are the signed TXT albums, by the way. I had bought these prior to knowing that we were boy boycotting album sales. Um, so, <laughs> I just found out that we were boycotting album sales, like, yesterday. Um, I have been talking to my friends about this, and I've been talking to some of you all online. I put a poll up on my Instagram actually about this video, which I'll get into in a little bit. I did know that there was a, a boycott going on with Hype. I thought it was streaming, and I thought that it was um, merch sales. So merchandise as in like pop-up merch or like the extra like merchandise t-shirts, things like that. I knew we were boycotting, so I didn't buy any of that. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy albums. I'm not gonna buy any of the new pop-up merch that will happen and things like that. Comes to find out, a lot of people are saying to boycott everything, not to boycott um, just merch and not streaming the album. Um, I was under the impression that we, we were buying albums. It was just, it's still very confusing. I heard a, a lot of people, after I talked about this on my Instagram story, um, t like DM me and say I thought it was just merch so I bought albums and then some people say yeah you're supposed to boycott everything so I feel like this whole like boycott is a like it's not very clear to a lot of people so that's why I got confused I wasn't for sure um because some a lot of people told me that Scooter Braun doesn't make money off of albums um so I, I don't know but I was very confused. <laughs> Just for non-confusion purposes from now on, I'm not going to be buying any Hybe related albums that are like from official sites. Um, I, bay I may buy some sealed ones off of Makari Japan or from a case seller that is reselling them, but I'm not going to buy them from Weavers or the US shops. Um, I did, however, already buy the 17 signed albums because again, like I said, I didn't know that we were boycotting albums themselves. So I did buy a set of that, but after that, I am not buying any more. Um, I am also trying to sell photo cards on my Instagram. Um, whatever I sell, I'm going to try to match what I paid for these three and a 17 set to uh, donate to a Palestine cause or an organization that will help Palestine because I feel really awful for buying these albums after the fact that I didn't know that we were boycotting albums and here I have them. So. I am going to try to do that um, whenever I save up enough money to do that. I understand if you guys don't want to watch the unboxing, you're more than happy to skip over it. Um, I did buy the um, light weaver set from a second, um, from a reseller on K Twitter. I bought the light weaver set with benefits and I bought the, I bought five weavers albums and I bought a kit from that same K seller. So those will be in a Kaddy haul. I wanted to open these on camera. Um, again, I'm gonna show my Instagram story, everything, and um, I did put a poll up to know if people really wanted unboxing of this or if I should just scrap the video because I thought maybe I shouldn't even make a video, but I do want to bring awareness of the high boycott. I do want people to boycott. I feel awful that I didn't know the correct circumstances. I still don't know, but I have just decided to, from now on, not buy anything official 17 or TXT merchandise or albums. Um, so, yeah. Hey guys, it's voiceover Kaylee. <laughs> so this is the Instagram story I was mentioning that I put on um, both of my Instagram accounts um, explaining, you know, what had happened with me buying the signed albums and all the things. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show this to you and I wanted to get your all's opinion before I posted a video because if you all didn't want to see the video, I was not going to post one. Um, 
so I put a poll up, as you can see on the last um, slides, that whoever wanted me to post the video and who did not, um, so that's what those are on my Astro Trades account. You can see that 90% of people wanted me to post it, and then on my Frosty Sue Ben, um, all the 18 people that voted wanted me to post it, so I decided just to post it since I had put my explanation up on there, and I wanted to show everything that I had done on my Instagram before uploading this and I wanted to add this into the video just to show you know that I did inform everyone um so yeah I will um show a tutorial on how to do the um streams and everything at the end um without actually streaming from Hype and Big Hit and things like that um but yeah I just wanted to show you guys this stuff before I went on and I really appreciate everyone that DM'd me after I post this and, you know, gave me suggestions and things like that. I really, really appreciate all of you um, for telling me your opinions on everything. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to show this and put that little disclaimer out there that I did ask you all about what, what I should do. So, yeah. Love you guys and enjoy the rest of the video. That being said, a lot of people still wanted to see this video. I think there was a couple people that didn't. So you don't have to watch this. I understand you do not have to. Um, and I'm not going to be mad or upset if no one watches this video. I understand. But a lot of people still wanted to see the video. I got a lot of DMs, a lot of people educating me. So I really appreciate all of those people. I really appreciate all your opinions. And... Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say that, and I've watched a lot of unboxings on this album, and no one's really talking about this, but I feel like it's something that we should talk about because it's affecting other humans' lives, and that's just not okay. So, anyways, that's what I wanted to say before I got into this unboxing, and this has nothing to do with TXT themselves. I love TXT. Um, it does suck, you know, that we can't go out and support our faves, but, you know, it's because of... A couple of people that are ruining this for us but again um, from now on with Hybe related artists if I want their things I'm gonna buy it from resellers um, I encourage everyone to do that if you want to stream the album but not give any money to big hit Hybe whatever Scooter Braun <laughs> um, I'm gonna have a tutorial at the end of this video on how you can download TXT and 17 songs and things like that, add it to your playlist on Spotify without giving them streams. You can also download music videos, all the things to your camera roll if you want to watch them. You can do that and I will show you how to do that. So, <laughs> without further ado, here we go. So here are my signed albums that I got. Also, if you still want signed albums, you can buy them, but just don't buy them from a, the official U.S. shop. There's a ton of resellers now that I've seen people get their albums. Um, it's like you're not buying a signed album from the official shop, so you're not giving them the money. You're giving the reseller the money, so it's kind of like you're not really buying it from Hype, if that makes sense. So, I think buying from resellers is fine. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I got the three signed albums here. This is the ethereal version, Romantic and Promise. I'm really excited to see who I got. Um, well, actually, I do, do already know who I got, but I'm excited to show you guys. Um, so, for ethereal, I got Subin. And then for Romantic, I got Hyun and Kai. You guys know Hyun and Kai is my alt bias. I love him. And then for Promise... I got Bongyu, which is great because I don't have a Bongyu signed thing. Uh, Bongyu is my sister's ult, so I normally give all my Bongyu signed things to my sister, but this time uh, I got to keep him. <laughs> uh, so yay! Um, so we got Subin, Hyunikai, Bongyu for the albums. Um, I will unbox all these three in just this video, and then when my k stuff arrives, I will unbox that in a different video, probably a K-pop collective haul or something. Um, so yeah. So we're just gonna unbox the main version today. I also don't have a light version because I also bought that whole set from the case seller and I didn't want to buy one um, anywhere else, so. We're gonna go through the albums and look at this. Um, so yeah. I like 
this like little ribbon that it comes with. I think this is very pretty. So here's the ribbon. It says the album version on it, which I think is very pretty. So here's all the like little things on it. Very cute. So here is Subin's signature. I really like the holographic on it. I think this is one of their best album packagings, if you ask me. Um, again, if I say positive things, I don't really want it to be positive toward Hybe or anything. <laughs> I'm trying to like just critique the album itself and not really give any compliments to Hybe, but yeah. Anyways, I do think this is a pretty package album, the holographics on it, and I love that they signed it in silver sharpie, but yeah, we're gonna go through the album. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So this is the ethereal version. This is what it looks like. Okay, so let's go through these. I remember when I dropped the photos for this. I'll read that later, but when I dropped the photos for this, um, Romantic is my favorite version and well, Light is my favorite version overall, but out of the three main versions, Romantic is my favorite version, I think. But all of these are so great. They look so good in these concept photos. It's just, oh my god. And Rockstar Hunenkai with the wings. Don't even get me started, but I love them so much. I'm so proud of them. They did so good with this album. This album is great. Um, my favorite song is probably quarter life which a lot of people um haven't mentioned that song a lot but quarter life is probably my favorite i of course i love taehyun's vocal but i am in love with bongyu and yun and kai's vocals in that song like oh my goodness they are breathtaking like oh my god and i am 25 currently so <laughs> i feel like i'm in my quarter life crisis so i don't know i just really love that song Oh my god, Bongi in these photos. But yeah, I feel like I can relate to that a little bit. Oh, Human Kai, oh my god. Um, but I love every single song. Deja Vu being the title, let me just say. Deja Vu is probably one of my favorite TXT titles. Um, I still think Sugar Rush Ride is my favorite TXT title. Um, and Zero by One Love Song. Those are my two like favorites but I feel like Deja Vu is probably my third. It's so good. I love it so much. It's just something different that they've never done before and I don't know it just sounds so good. Their vocals in that song like during the preview um Young June that preview I was like oh my god this is gonna be a banger and it was. It's so good but oh my god these photos are so good. <laughs> they look so nice. Oh my gosh. I heard that they got a new, like, stylist team. Or, like, um, yeah, like a new stylist or a whole new team or something for their album packaging and things. And I feel like you can tell. <laughs> I think they've stepped it up this time and they promoted them pretty well this time. Um, again, not trying to compliment Hybe on anything, but yeah i do have to say they look very good and i feel like everything matches the like comeback and yeah so they look so good and the fact that this whole album is like little prints themed is very cute my sister is actually um she takes french class at high school or in high school and um they're gonna be reading the little prints soon so she's super excited her french teacher is like, well, let's, um, let's talk about TXT during it, because, you know, all their stuff is about little prints, and she's super excited to, like, teach her class about all the TXT stuff, so it's really cute. But, oh my god. All these photos are amazing. But yeah, my sister's actually the one that showed me how to stream the album without streaming it i guess <laughs> like listening to the album and you can do it on your spotify i don't know how to do it on apple music if you have apple music there's probably a way to do it but i do know how to do it on spotify if you want to make like a locals file um playlist on spotify like i said i'm gonna put that tutorial at the end of the video to show you guys how to do that um 
So yeah, we can listen to it illegally all together. <laughs> um, hopefully my video won't get taken down, but yeah. Here's all the thanks to... There's a lot of photos in this photo book. I love Hina and Kai's outfit in this. Oh my god. So yeah, that is everything. Here's the CD. So yeah, that was everything for the ethereal version. Okay, so we have all these things. We've got a poster. Ooh, this is nice. So all of TXT on that big old truck. And then we've got, I think this is the lyrics. Yeah, this is the lyrics. No, guys, I think this song's actually my favorite. <laughs> the Morse code. <laughs> There's been so many TikToks, like, people making fun of this track. It's really funny. I heard that this song charted above Chasing That Feeling, which is crazy. I just think that's weird, but yeah. Yeah, definitely Quarter Life is my favorite. Oh, the Killer. Don't even get me started on that. Yeonjun and Subin. If you like, actually look up the lyrics to that. I think my non-unit favorite song is probably Miracle. I really like that song. And then we have some stickers. So here's these stickers. And then I think these are a random member. So we've got Bomb Gyu. Very cute. He looks so good. And then for the postcard, oh, we got Bomb Gyu again. <laughs> oh my god. So we got two Bomb Gyu things. If our photo card is Bomb Gyu, that'd be crazy. Okay, let's see our photo card. Three, two, one. Oh, we got Yanjun. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at his like painted nails. He looks so good with the guitar pick in his mouth. He looks amazing. So yeah, that is the ethereal version. Okay, here is the romantic version which is my favorite version and of course my alt bias signed this one so i'm very excited to have this version he signed it um i wish he would have signed it like here <laughs> so i could see his signature better but i can't be mad at him so here is the ribbon it says romantic very pretty i love this orange color which is weird because i don't really like orange but this is like a really pretty orange color Okay, we're going to scoot everything out, and we're going to look at this version together. Yes, very, it looks very pretty. So, this is, they're wearing corsets in this version. I have no words. <laughs> they look so good. I, I mean, oh my god. Oh my goodness. I love these outfits. I think they look beautiful. I did buy tickets to CTXT. Um, I bought them on the resale thing. So again, I bought them from resellers. But I think my outfit is going to be themed like this version. So yeah. It made the tickets a lot more expensive. <laughs> But I did buy resale tickets. Oh my god. Taehyun. He looks so good with this blush. Oh my gosh. Hyunkai with the glitter. Yeah, I think I want to do like a really like pretty flowy shirt with a black corset and then black either skirt or flowy pants. But I don't think skirts look good on me so I think I'm going to wear like some really long flowy pants. I just love this version so much and then I think I'm gonna like curl my hair but like put like a like a bow in my hair like a lace bow and then maybe put this on my like light stick so yeah I did not buy the new light stick <laughs> I have my original light stick that I bought that I'm gonna bring it won't work but it'll be fine oh my god he looks so good. And if you are going to see TXT in concert, um, I wouldn't buy merch. <laughs> so, 
if you are interested in boycotting, I wouldn't buy the merch at the concert. So, yeah. Oh my god. They look amazing. I love this. I feel like my outfit will be inspired by Taehyung. Because I love this shirt. And I love the black corset with the black pants. I don't know what shoes I'll wear. But it'll have to be comfortable shoes. <laughs> I do have like seated seats. Because I have um, pots. I think I've mentioned that before. But if I stand for a really long time, I start getting dizzy. And feel like I'm going to pass out. And you know, sometimes I do pass out. So, yeah. I have to be very careful when I go to concerts. So I got seats this time because I was like, I'm not doing general mission. I cannot do that. Um, and resell general mission tickets for like a thousand dollars, and I was not doing that. No way. So yeah, and I think if you buy resale tickets, you don't get the benefits anyway. So it's like, what's even the point? So. Here's a thanks too for this version. I love this version. Very pretty. They look great. All right, here's the CD, the rose, very pretty. Oh my gosh. All right, let's look at all of our stuff. So we got another poster. Ooh, this one's very pretty. So here's that one. Very gorgeous. Alright, and here is the lyric book. I think it's the same, just orange, so. Alright, let's look at our stickers. These are the same. This one, we got Bong <laughs> I'm just gonna have all Bong Yu stickers. So we got Bong Yu. And for this, we got Taehyun. He looks so good. And then for our photo card, we got Bong Yu. Get to keep him because my sister is trading for her Bong Yu's. So yeah, yay. Finally got a Bong Yu pool. He's been showing up a lot apparently this, um, this comeback. So yay. All right, that was everything for romantic. Now we'll go to the last one, which is Promise. Right here is the Promise version, Bong Yu signature right here, very pretty. And here is the ribbon for this one. I really like this color. I think this is my favorite color out of all the versions. Very pretty. We're gonna take all this stuff out. And we're going to look through this version. This one was my least favorite version just because I feel like we saw a lot of these photos already. But oh my god, I will tell you one thing. That these photos are Subin's best photos I think he's ever taken in a photo shoot. They're like my favorite pictures of Subin on this planet. Like... Are we kidding? Look how beautiful he looks. Look at his eyes. Like, I know they're probably contacts, but oh my god, he looks so good in these photos. So do all of them, but especially Subin. I was, I was shook. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Subin looks so good. I love that they had the little prince crowns on. That bomb cue looks so cute in this little crown. I love all the little prince themes, and then the Everything with the fox, his little prince theme, their whole like trailer, and then dreamer acoustic version. Oh my god. Very cute. Wow, 
Okay, you and Kai. <laughs> he looks so good. Oh, I didn't realize this had all their comebacks together. Huh. Interesting. Oh my god, Yun and Kai look so good. I love this, like... What is it? Golden hour, I guess, concept. And then it being nighttime, too. Like, look how good Subin looks in this. Like, that's my favorite picture of Subin ever. <laughs> this one might be, actually. Subin looks so amazing. Wow. They just look so good. <gasps> Here's all of them together. I love Hinokai's outfit. Not trying to be biased, but I love it. I love all their outfits. There's them with the apple. I wonder where they took that photo. That looks scary. <laughs> I thought about for the concert maybe like wearing like a crown like this but I was like I don't know that I feel like would look weird <laughs> with the romantic concept so I'm just gonna wear bows in my hair I think For TXT last year, I was third row on the floor, on the extended stage. So, I'll have a little bit of a further view this time, but again, I did not want to do GA. It's too much for me. <laughs> At least the floor last time was seated. I don't know why they didn't do seated this time. It just doesn't make sense. But yeah, that is all for the Promise version, and here's the CD. Here's the poster. That's vertical this time. It's a very pretty night version. Looks so good. The lyric book. I'm not going to go through that again. And then stickers. Okay, who did we get this time? Subin! Oh my god, he looks so good. And then for the postcard, we got Taehyun again. And then for the photo card, we got <gasps> Yeonjun. Oh my god. He looks so good. Okay, so here were the pulls for everything. Um, so that's the end of this unboxing. Again, thank you so much if you watched and heard me out about the whole boycott thing. Um, just... Yeah, whether you boycott or not, I hope you at least take in some of the information. And yeah, um, so I'm going to switch over to Past Me that made a tutorial on how to do the music situation. So thank you guys for watching and yeah, stay tuned for the music thing. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to download TXT's music or any Hype artist music that you want to listen to without giving any money to Hype or Scooter Braun. Props to my sister for showing me how to do this, but here we go. You are going to download this little EverTag um, MP3 converter app. Um, you have to have this to convert it to your Spotify. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first, we are going to go to YouTube. And we are going to find whatever audio we want to use. Um, for this video that I'm showing you, I'm going to do TXT's Deja Vu audio. So that's exactly what you're going to type into the search bar is TXT 
deja vu audio or whatever. And I went to this person's video, the We Like Music channel, and I, you will click the three little dots, hit share, and then copy link from that audio. And then you are going to go to you, your Safari app. And you're going to type in any kind of mp3 converter thing. I just typed in mp3 YouTube converter. And I used the first one. Because um, it's a secure site. And it won't like put a virus on your phone or anything. So I pasted the link into there. And then you'll hit convert. It will take you to a like different tab. And it'll say like. Like it's like an ad. So you'll just go out of that and then you'll go back to where you can download it so that's it going to the ad so you'll get out of that and go back to the original um link and then it will pop up and it'll say download and then you'll go down to where it downloaded and you'll click your downloads and then i just played this part to make sure the audio sounded okay and then you will hit the little arrow and put save to files. And then I just saved it as deja vu. Okay, then you are going to go out of that and go into the mp3 ever tag, I think is what it's called, app. And you're going to go to open files and find what you just saved to your files. We'll hit open. And then this is where you can customize what it looks like on Spotify. So I just use um the photos and go to um I just download a picture of their album artwork so that way I don't get confused but if you want a picture of whoever on TXT you can you can put a picture of Subin, it doesn't matter you can type in Deja Vu as the title track and then as an artist I just put Tomorrow by Together that's all you really need to put on there but you can put TXT it doesn't matter then you'll save it and then you will go out of that app and then you're going to go to Spotify and then uh, you'll go to your local files playlist and it's there for you to listen to on Spotify so yeah it's just like having the song on your Spotify playlist and yeah that's pretty much about it you can type in local files to find your playlist with everything on there and you can also add to my k-pop playlist and yeah so you can kind of like listen to it as you would on any other playlist um and just remove txt's stuff from your original playlist and it's there and none of the streams that you do will go to the hype so i hope this helps and love you guys thank you